pieces of um, them reconciling. They hate each other. I, this is just so shocking considering. I don't know. I mean, I thought these two were a little bit. I don't know. I mean, they just. This is so ugly, long. girl. This is ugly. This is ugly. Kim and Croy is getting. No, I think that, look, Kim, I think from watching her, Kim kind of goes low. Now, I don't know if you saw recently we had Father's Day. Um, Brielle wished Croy a happy Father's Day after she unfollowed him weeks before. So just like everything else, this is an interesting one. But yes, the source says that they absolutely hate each other. The chance of them working it out. I just think now this is in the nasty divorce category. I think this is officially a nasty I mean, divorce. Both accusing each other of drug use. I mean, he seems to be the one pushing like she's unfit to have them. Um, so... I don't know. And and I think you had texted me when that story came out of him filing for like sole custody and everything. And you were like, I think Kim's in trouble. What what may is there something that makes you think like that Kim's in trouble? You just think she could have a drug issue or something, but or she's just look, what do I know? Right. But I mean, would it shock you beyond belief that Kim Zolciak, no longer Beerman, is just like up and down and all around all day that her emotions go from zero to a thousand. Kim is like, you know, you know who Kim reminds me of? I mean, let's put legally all things aside as a, as a emotions. Kim reminds me of Jen Shaw. Really? Yeah. A tamer wow. version. Yeah. That's strong. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, guys. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm sorry, okay. Sarah. You you think there's something there's gonna be something. I mean No, I not I not not necessarily no, I don't think there's gonna be a scheme. Not not necessarily legally. I just think Kim is like, you know, the gen goes from zero to a hundred. Like, I mean, could you imagine the fact that she's a convicted felon aside? I'm not even talking about that. Could you imagine being friends with Jen Shaw? Look, I'm sure there's people out there right now that are taking a sip of their wine that would kill to be friends with Jen Shaw. I would take a hard pass. And I don't like emotional up and down and all around. And I like a, just a very, I don't have lows and I don't have highs. <laughs> That's true. You, you know how, you know, how Andy made a joke about like, it's like Raquel was medicated. I'm like a medicated on Zoloft and all the drugs that you could be medicated on without actually taking any of them. I'm just like in the middle in life. I've lived life. I've lived life. I, I really cancel me, hate me, whatever. Every now and then, as you know, I do. When you clap at me, I clap back. But short of just because I'm good at it, short of that, I mean, there's no emotions here. So I don't really get along with these like big, big, like, ah, oh, grand. Oh, 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 wow. Oh. That's Kim reminds me of Jen Shaw in that way. So I don't know. What do I know? But to me, without overthinking it, Croy seems more level headed. Yeah. He does. Oh, they're so broke, by the way. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess declaring bankruptcy gets you out of a lot of this stuff, but I mean, they are just millions of dollars in debt. I mean, it, it, like, I, I don't even know at this point how they have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of, really. I mean, I, unless he gets uh, at some sort of retirement from the NFL, which I think they're notoriously terrible at giving players, maybe he has some savings or investments. I don't know. Maybe Croy's family has cash, but they have to be so terribly in debt. And here, but here's the thing. Here's where I go to this. Like, because I'm giving out advice. I gave Margaret the advice on how to keep her job in Jersey last episode. Yes, you did. I mean, listen, you have two daughters. I'm sorry, you two older daughters. I'm sorry how you may or may not have raised them, but it's time. Brielle earns a living as an influencer on Instagram. So that's it. Guess what? The house you're living in, get rid of it. And guess what? Kim needs to go. She needs to, I don't, you don't need to live on the wrong side of town in a place where, you know, there's like needles on the floor and there's rats crawling over you at night. But girl, you got to get a one bedroom apartment. And I'm even being generous. There's also people that live in studio apartments. You get a one bedroom apartment, rent furniture from courts. I think it's called court furniture rental. You could probably furnish the thing for around it's Atlanta around, I don't know, $500 a month, maybe 300 a month, get rented furniture, 
And in the rented one bedroom apartment, that is where you are now going to live, Kim Zolciak. That is your new home. I don't want to hear about a house. I don't want to hear about 12 bathrooms. You're going to live in a one bedroom apartment. Now, I don't know what you're going to do for a job because the whole world knows you. So I don't think you can go be a makeup girl behind the counter at Bloomingdale's. Uh, I don't know if you can go be a receptionist at a hair salon. I don't know, but you might have to try to get a job like that somehow. I mean, are people giving her money for influencing on social media? There's probably some, something. I, right. I doubt it's much. I, I, I doubt it's I much, mean, it's, but it's, so it's, then, I mean, what, be, go be a substitute teacher? Like there are things she can do, but this is where it's the pitfalls of reality TV. An average person that never was on TV can go do these things easier than Kim. So, I mean, but that is my advice. Get the one bedroom apartment, trade in the Mercedes G-Wagon girl or the Range Rover or whatever it is. Oh, you're driving a Bentley, whatever the fuck it is that she's, that Miss Princess is driving, trade it in. And Croy, I'm not done with you. So don't think you're getting off easy. Um, trade it in, get like, I don't know, what is it? A Mazda, a Toyota, get something with, you know, 10,000 miles on it. That's good. Right. I don't drive, but I think that's good. And <laughs> make sure yeah, it's safe. Like it. Right. So like, make sure it's safe and, and, and make a car payment of three fifty a month or whatever it goes for and start your new life. And, and yeah, I guess declare bankruptcy. This is your new life. I'm sorry. You don't like it. And yes, sell the wigs, sell the Louis, sell the Gucci, sell it all. That is your new life. I didn't get you here. Sell it. And Croy, you apparently have a lot of financial issues too. Dude, you got to go do the same thing. Go get yourself a one bedroom. You get the recliner. You can even have one of those things where you put the beer in it. Like, you know, those brown leather recliners where it's like they have the cup holder in, in the thing. Just get that dude, throw down a mattress. You're a guy. You'll be fine. I mean, I'm not, you're not going to be any more fine than Kim. I'm just saying maybe you can save money on the furniture and just put that in the thing and drink a beer and watch your TV at night. Maybe you want to fix it up too so you can bring girls back there and get, you know, your dick sucked. I don't know. But both of you get out of the house, get in the one bedroom, get rid of all that and move on. Tro uh, Croy, you have trophies, you have, you have jerseys, wh whatever team you play for. There's people out there, put it up for auction. Come on. Guess what? Well, lower, lower your price on cameo. So you get booked all day. I mean, this is, you got yourselves into this, go pull yourselves up and, and make something out of yourself. Right. Uh, look, it has got to be so down in the dumps. I mean, Croy is now being sued by BMW over $400,000 Rolls Royce that they that they had right the two hundred dollars a month were the pet car payments that he was supposed to make they apparently haven't made them in two years they want i mean I, it's just so bad I, I mean i get what you're saying i i just I they feel may like not even them, be able to afford that i don't even know if they know how to start like i mean what could he do? like they haven't okay they've had that like salt bikini line or whatever i mean but they haven't worked in a long time now do you find this interesting about croy and um kim 